On behalf of the faculty and staff of Fremont Ross High School, I welcome you to our Senior Awards evening. Four years ago, we met you at Open House to kick off your high school career. It was much hotter then. Our message to you was, you can have a great experience at Ross High School if you'd like one. You're here tonight because you took those words to heart. Throughout your time at Ross, you've worked hard to have a good Fremont Ross High School experience. Tonight's event serves as an affirmation for a job well done. Through your efforts, the class of 2022 has been awarded over $515,000 of accepted scholarship money. This evening is made possible through the efforts of the Ross High School counselors, secretarial staff, custodial staff, and administration. Special thanks to Ms. Huth, Mr. Shell, Mrs. Harmon, Ms. Dumminger, Mr. Fox, Mr. Cheney, and Mr. Gagorski for their work in organizing tonight's event. We'd also like to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation to all of the generous donors and supporters, uh, all the generous donors for their support and their continued commitment to Ross High School. Without you and your willingness to invest in our young people, tonight would not be possible. Your high school years have been met with hardship but now it's time for you to receive your reward for excelling through those hard times. Beginning our evening, we'll be superintendent of Fremont City Schools, Mr. John Detweiler. The staff and graduating class select two students to receive the Clara and W.W. W. Ross Good Citizenship Award. This award is given to those that have exemplified what it is like to be a little giant. They have worked hard and treated their peers with kindness, and they exemplify the good that you can find at Ross High School. As the first superintendent of Fremont City Schools, W.W. W. Ross valued citizenship as a guiding principle of the school system. Those values are still relevant today. The winners of the Claire and W.W. W. Ross Good Citizenship Award are Tana Bauer, and Hayden Marcy. Foundation. Um, it's a 501c3 nonprofit organization. It's the brainchild of then superintendent Kent Watkins and administrator David Brickner, and original board members Dr. Chuck Hall and Bill Wingard. Their goal was to develop a program to help fund school projects and programs. Fast forward 40 years, and we now award instructional grants for teachers, recognize students of the month awards to grades one through six, acknowledgement and recognition of the academic Olympics for grades six through 12, the Crystal Apple Award for teachers, the gold medal banquet, and multiple scholarships for high school seniors. Since the inception, in the mid-80s, the Learning and Liberty Foundation has given over 100,000 to these programs. To carry on with our tradition, it gives us great pleasure to announce our 2022 recipients for the Learning and Liberty Foundation scholarships. Congratulations, Haley Rios and Julian Chavez. It is awarded to one male and one female high school senior 
who have contributed and created to a positive atmosphere here at Fremont Ross High School. This is a prestigious award as the determination is made by the Fremont High School faculty. With that being said, I would like to congratulate Tana Bauer and Nick Pearson. Next by an attorney of this. Due to the spring weather, a lot of our uh, spring athletes have events today. So we have track and baseball and softball that all ended up getting scheduled for today. So Nick was having his mom accept the award <coughs> on his behalf. So that's uh, what's going on there. So thank you. Last award through the Learning and Liberty is the David B. Brickner Scholarship Award. The David B. Brickner Scholarship Award was set up by the Learning and Liberty Foundation with memorials received in my late husband's name. My family is honored that they chose to do this. David started his career as a teacher and coach and later went into administration. In 1981, he went to the central office where he was administrative assistant and director of student services. He played a big role in establishing the Learning and Liberty Foundation and was proud of all the programs that it supported. He was also proud of being part of the Fremont City Schools and a program that worked toward excellence. He believed that all children could succeed with the right direction and encouragement and that was his philosophy, philosophy throughout his entire career. He retired in 2001 with 37 years in education. This year, our family has chosen three recipients for this scholarship. The first recipient is Caitlin Fisher. She has been active in the music department, both in the symphonic and marching bands, winning several medals for her participation. She is also in the National Honor Society Link and Teen Leadership Corps. She plans to continue her education at the University of Finley in adolescent and young adult education. Caitlin has volunteered in several community activities. She says, I enjoy taking the time to talk to underclassmen at school and value the time I take going to other schools to mentor younger students. The second recipient is Haley Reels. She's a member of National Honor Society, Teen Leadership Corps. She played volleyball for four years at Ross. She has volunteered in many community and school activities. She received academic recognition, getting gold in the academic Olympics. She was a student of the month for the Lions Club. She will be going to BGSU in the fall, majoring in education. She would like to be a high school integrated social studies teacher. Haley says, I plan to be the best teacher I can be. I will do this by providing my students with a wholesome, nurturing, learning environment. I will strive to always listen to my students, make time to help them when needed, and be honest and fair to them. The third recipient for this scholarship is Morgan Schetzer. Morgan is a College Plus student. She is in Link Interactive Club. She is also a member of the National Honor Society where she served as president. She was active in the music department. She received the Academic Achievement Award in orchestra and band. 
She was also Rotary <coughs> Student of the Month. She participated in swim and tennis, achieving academic awards in both. She has volunteered in the community and worked in the community. Morgan is attending Carthage College after high school, where she will be majoring in elementary education. Morgan says, during college, I will accept all opportunities that will allow me to be successful in my academic coursework and career. I will continue to be self-motivated. Morgan. Good evening. I'm Colleen Carmack. I'm the current president of the Fremont Lions Club. Thank you for the opportunity to be here and congratulate all the seniors and wish them much success in the future. I'd first like to recognize all this year's students of the month that we had the pleasure of uh, hosting at our meetings. They are Caitlin Fisher and Julian Chavez, Araya Jones and Xavier DeCourcy, Alana Smith and LeBron Barnett, Sarah Bursiaga and Jaden Bulger, Haley Rios and Bowen Shook, Lauren Rowe and Nicholas Pearson, Madeline Nylier and Brayden Ebinger, Tamara Nord and Johan Silver, Chloe Weicker and Dean Hetrick. So congratulations to all of them. <laughs> On behalf of the Fremont Lions Club, it is my pleasure to present the Student of the Year Scholarship in the amount of $500 to Caitlin Fisher. Good evening. I'm Angelica Reinhardt, and on behalf of my club president, Fremont Rotary Club President uh, Derek Spouse, um, we would like to congratulate all seniors for your future undertaking. I'm here today to present the Student of the Year Scholarship. Rotary International is an international service organization whose purpose is to bring together business and professional leaders in order to provide humanitarian services, encourage high ethical standards in all vocations, and help build goodwill and peace in the world. The Fremont Rotary Club is a 96 years old service organization with 57 members, currently providing service to local and international community, especially focusing on youth. Our club recognizes Student of the Month during the school year. Every May, we recognize a Student of the Year. This year, Student of the Year is London Johnson, who is receiving a Rory Scholarship of $1,500. Congratulations. The second scholarships we gave out to is the Rotary Link Interact Scholarships. Interact, short for International Action, is Rotary International Service Club for Youth, ages 12 to 18, coming together to develop leadership skills while discovering the power of service above self. Basically, how serious leadership can be seriously fun. Our club provides support and guidance. Scholarship candidates are eligible to win this award annually and the accumulative award money will be claimed upon graduation. This year, 
scholarship recipients are Morgan Chessers, winner of the $500 scholarship, and Tanner Bauer, the winner of the 250 scholarship. In fact, I'd like to highlight Morgan was also the last year's uh, $500 winner. So upon his graduation, her, upon her graduation, she will be getting a $1,000 scholarship. And Tanner has been three years in a row as the uh, 250 winner scholarship. So upon her graduation, she'll be getting $750 from our club. Congratulations, Tanner. organization of volunteers dedicated to changing the world one child and one community at a time. Kiwanis International supports various youth organizations of which the Fremont Kiwanis sponsors six, one of which is the uh, key club here at Ross. I would like to take a moment to thank Brenda Whitman, the Fremont Ross key club advisor, for her continual dedication to the kids in key club. She's a treasure and a true champion for the kids in our community. Annually, our endowment fund committee issues two $1,000 scholarships to graduating seniors from each of the key clubs supported by the Fremont Kiwanis Club. Today, it gives me great pleasure to award the 2022 Fremont Kiwanis Endowment Fund Scholarships to Veronica Ballas and Tamara Nord. Good evening. My name is Brenda Pfeiffer, and I'm the president of the Seraptimus Club here in Fremont, Ohio. Seraptimus are women at their best, working to help other women be their best. Our mission is to improve the lives of women and girls in our local communities and throughout the world. We are a volunteer organization that uses collective power to provide women and girls with the resources and opportunities they need to reach their full potential and live their dreams. We are an international organization that gives us a global voice and on a local level, the ability to serve the women in our community. The recipient of this award shares the same ideals as we do as fellow Seraphimus. Her leadership and academic success are a testament to her dedication as a student and now a graduate of Fremont Ross High School. On behalf of the Fremont Seraphimus Club, it is my pleasure to present the winner of this scholarship award to Caitlin Fisher. Don W. Miller Foundation Scholarship Award this evening on behalf of my father, Don Miller. Congratulations, seniors, and good evening, parents. The Don W. Miller Scholarship was uh, founded in 2011. <coughs> it's a result of the wish of my dad, and let me tell you a little bit about him. He grew up on a, he was born and raised on a potato farm in Green Springs, Ohio with his seven brothers and two sisters. He worked hard there, 
uh, but decided that wasn't the life for him. And so he went on to start his own business and became successful in that business. But he would tell you today at age 95 that he still regrets not having received a college education. And so when he created this foundation, he did it with the simple purpose of helping as many students as possible make that dream come true with this $1,000 annually renewable scholarship. I'm going to ask that my recipients actually come a little closer here because I'm going to be naming off a number of them. I don't want to run back and forth nine times, so if you don't mind. Um, the first award goes to LeBron's Barnett. I guess his mother's going to be taking that award for him. The second recipient is Tana Bauer. The third recipient this evening is Haley Rios. I'm sorry, I just found out my certificates are not in order. goes to Elena Smith. Uh, Allison Taylor. Congratulations to her. Adriana Terraza Cobo. Not here this evening. Congratulations to her. <laughs> and I'm assuming a sister, Angelina Terraza Cobo, who is also not here this evening. <laughs> Drew Davis. Good evening. My name is Jeff Fox. I am the Post Commander for Fremont VFW Post 2947. It gives me great pleasure in recognizing sons, daughters, or grandchildren of veteran members of our Fremont Post. Not only are we the number one post recognized in Ohio out of over 325 VFWs in Ohio, we have continuously donated and uh, contributed $1,000 to those scholarships every year. This year, we do have three Fremont Ross recipients worthy of the award, son, daughter, or grandchild of, and the honor of their loved one. And those recipients are, if you could just come up again, Haley Rios. <laughs> London Johnson. Nicholas Pearson. <laughs> Nicholas's mother, Beth, will be receiving. There we are.
Once again, thank you on behalf of Fremont BFW Post 2947, and congratulations to the 2022 graduates. Senior Vice Commander at Fremont, Post BFW, Fremont BFW Post 2947. It is my honor to present the Grover M. Dow Memorial Scholarship to a senior wrestler. Grover Dow was a Vietnam vet, a teacher, a wrestling coach, and a mentor, mentor to many Fremont youth. This scholarship is one of many ways that the BFW is keeping Grover's memory alive. Please help me congratulate this year's recipient of the Grover Memorial Scholarship, Dean Hetrick. Good evening and congratulations to the class of 2022. My name is Kimberly Weaver and I'm with Fremont Federal Credit Union and we're proud to be able to give back to the community in which we work and live in the form of scholarships for our graduating seniors in Sandusky, Ottawa, Seneca, and Wood Counties. To qualify, students must be members of our credit union for at least a year, have achieved academic excellence, and have displayed involvement in their community through volunteerism. A quality that is high in regard at Fremont Federal Credit Union and supports the credit union philosophy of people helping people. Again, this year our scholarship committee was overwhelmed with applications and all applicants can be and should be commended. However, of all those applicants that stood out above many of the others, belong to students here at Fremont Ross High School. Therefore, on the behalf of the Board of Directors and staff, I'm very proud to present $1,000 scholarships to the following students. Chloe Weicker and Nicholas Pearson. First off, congratulations to the class of 2022. All your hard work has paid off. My husband Tim and I started this scholarship several years ago as a way to give back to our alma mater. We don't focus so much on grades overall, but we do look at uh, GPA, but we focus on the academic and athletic achievements of the students, as well as their work ethic and their volunteerism that they do. So this year, we are pleased to present our $500 scholarship uh, to a senior who will be attending Tiffin University and is signed to continue his education in Russell. So congratulations, Dean Hedrick. old by the way and what I'm gonna say here in a second never gets old either so the big knot cannot do what he does and, and be who he is if it wasn't for first lady nut she's sitting right there in a the second row please give it up for first lady nut <laughs> and the last thing I want to do is be sleeping on the couch tonight so I had to say something <laughs> well seniors you're, it's finally here isn't it Yep, and guess what? The journey is just beginning too, isn't it? 
Yeah, now the work begins. So uh, we were over in Woodmore uh, the other night, and I'm going to tell you guys the same thing I told the senior class in Woodmore High School. One thing you never, ever do, never, ever do, is forget where you come from. Because where you're going in life is a result of where you've been. Growing up as a child, having wonderful parents, taking care of you. So please, never ever forget where you come from because this is your home. It'll always be your home. This is the roots of your life. So please, good luck, congratulations, and uh, I'm sure you guys will be doing some great things in the future. In uh, 2011, the uh, Big Nut Scholarship uh, Foundation came to fruition. Uh, it is a 501c3 nonprofit, and um, to date, uh, before this year, we've given out 75 scholarships locally. Uh, between the endowment at the Ohio State University and Sandusky County Communities Foundation, plus what we've already given out, we've raised and given out over $200,000 in scholarship money for students that work so hard and deserve uh, to help uh, support their education. This uh, young lady um, she has uh, excellence in academics, community service, as well as exceptional attitude and a Buckeye spirit. This is a Woody Hayes Pay It Forward program that we created. And um, this young lady is attending The Ohio State University on a $500 scholarship from the Big Nut. And uh, from 2022, the winner is Tana Bauer. Uh, these kids for uh, by paying forward stop by uh, your local store here in the community of Fremont uh, the Big Nut Pickles and Big Nut Barbecue Sauce and all that money uh, raised goes to the scholarships for these students that work so hard thank you go much and God bless good evening everyone my name is Cassandra Tucker and I'm the current president of Fremont NAACP Unit 3217. Um, with the help of the Toledo NAACP back in 1955, the Fremont NAACP was founded by citizens of Fremont when they all came together to form the local chapter in order to improve the quality of life for their community. At that time, their goal was to ensure that all people, regardless of color, had equal access to employment, housing, and education. The quest for equality is far from over. However, with great strides, we have made these areas, thankfully, enlarged, accessible, and to, due to the leadership, advocacy, and education provided by the NAACP. With gratification and pride, I present scholarships to our students, and I'd like to say congratulations, parents, for getting your students as well. So the students I'm presenting our scholarships to this evening, the first is Tana Bauer. And Tana is presented, Tana will be attending the Ohio State University and her goal is to have her own veterinary clinic. And on behalf of NWCP, I present Tana Bauer with a $1,500 scholarship. Our second scholarship this evening goes to Alana Smith. And Alana plans to attend Baldwin Wallace University and pursue a career in human resources. We present Alana with a $1,000 scholarship. And our third and last scholarship this evening is presented to LeBron's Burnett. LeBron's will be attending the Wittenberg University and major in business administration. And on behalf of NAACP, Unit 3217, I'm presenting him with a $1,000 scholarship.
Good evening. My name is Mark Scholes. I represent the Fremont Ross Alumni and Friends Scholarship Fund. With me tonight is one of my teammates, uh, Christine Schneider Smith, Rod Opelt, the former mayor of Lindsay, <clears throat> and Stephen Schaefer. We're supposed to be here, but for some reason they're absent. Oh, there's Stephen. Uh, the class, the Fremont Ross Alumni and Friends Scholarship Fund start, was started by the class of 1969 at our 50th class reunion. Uh, that's when we got approval for that in 2019. So you can do the math and tell how old we are. <laughs> uh, we couldn't have done it without uh, generosity of people in our class, uh, many local businesses, many local citizens, uh, and in uh, short order, we ra were able to raise uh, $10,000 to join the Sandusky County Community Foundation, which gave us 501c3 non-exempt status. So I have to thank Laura Young and Tom Ballas is here for their help with that. <clears throat> in less than three years, we raised over $31,000. So we're able to give a scholarship tonight. So I need to thank John Detweiler, Superintendent of Schools, Mrs. Susan King, Brent Parker, Parker for the logo design that we have. Um, a big shout out to Mrs. Susan, Miss, Mrs. Susan Fry for help, her help. This is Miss Emily Huth, who has been on board from the beginning of this and has been uh, very helpful. So, um, if you would like to learn more about our, our organization, you can go to Fremont Ross Alumni and Friends. Dot org. You can learn about our mission. You can donate to us. Uh, that would be very appreciated. If you have questions, you can email us through there. And right at the bottom, right at the bottom, the last thing on there is how to join the Fremont Ross Alumni Association. <laughs> Fremont Ross Alumni it's out on their website or on our website, please join. Uh, there are a lot of people that have gradu graduated from us that are not members of the Alumni Association, so please do that. Um, and please feel free to pass on any information I'm giving you tonight. I'll be around afterwards. You can talk to me if you like, or Stephen or Christine, uh, and we'll be able to help you anyway if you have any questions. So the first winner of the first recipient of Fremont Ross Alumni and Friends Scholarship Fund is Nicholas Berkman. something there's always a typo. <laughs> this should be the class of 2002 excellent scholarship. Um, established by the class of 2002 the scholarship is dedicated to a graduating student of color who has a 2.5 minimum GPA. There's also an essay requirement for the scholarship. Our award winner is unable to be here this evening but we'll have her scholarship presented to her at the track meet by Adrian Robertson, uh, the head of the class of 2002 committee. The class of 2002 scholarship winner is Jaden Roselle. Good, we got this year right. <laughs> the Class of 1950 Scholarship. This was established by the alumni from the Class of 1950. It's based on ability, attitude, dedication, and occupational and professional objectives. Any Ross senior planning to pursue higher education is eligible to apply. This year's winner is Zachary Glotzbecker. Zach is 
NASA track this evening. Good evening. I'm Dana Pilliator. I am the president of the OPC Local 321. We give out scholarships to students who have a parent that is a member of our union. This year we have two recipients. The first one is Haley Rios. recipient is Allison Taylor, who I believe is not here tonight. Thank you. So I asked Mr. Dowler if I had to make a speech, and he said, absolutely not. So um, maybe because I talk a lot, I don't know. But I am Carrie Pendry Wendling, and I am here to give out two scholarships. One on behalf of the FEA, and that goes to Caitlin Fisher. And then on behalf of the Otis PTO, I have two that I need to give out. They are Lauren Rowe and uh, Leah Whaley. My name is Julie Yoder, and seated beside me is Jane Fleming. And we had the privilege of serving on the Atkinson Elementary PTO Scholarship Committee. Our scholarship is given each year to deserving seniors who attended Atkinson Elementary for at least five years. Through the selection process, it was always a joy for us to read about our former students, what they're doing now, their memories of Atkinson, and what their plans for the future are. It doesn't seem that long ago that these two scholarship winners were sitting in my first grade classroom or walking the halls of Atkinson, growing way too fast for us to keep up with them. But now they are seniors. For 2022, the committee has chosen two outstanding seniors to honor with our scholarship. Both have been very successful through their school careers. These seniors spoke to our Atkinson Honor students earlier this month. It was nice to hear them share their words of wisdom and insight with our impressionable students. Our first recipient is Drew Davis. Drew's letters of recommendation included characteristics such as dedicated, hardworking, responsible, and a desire to be successful. Drew will be attending Kent State University in the fall, where he will major in biology. Congratulations, Drew. The second recipient is Caitlin Fisher. Caitlin's letters of recommendation included characteristics such as a positive, driven young lady, high achieving, dedicated, with great work ethic. Caitlin will be attending the University of Finley and majoring in adolescent and young adult education. Good luck.
Hello, good evening. My name is Tammy Smith and I am a member of the Krogan PTO. Oh my goodness, my daughter's a year younger than all of you and so I, in my mind, I can just picture all of you as the little ones. Um, <laughs> that just makes my heart happy. Um, <laughs> we have two recipients. Uh, for Krogan Elementary PTO and staff scholarship of $500 each. Our first one is Allison Taylor. She's not here tonight because she's in track. Um, <laughs> her parents are Michael and Katie, and she has three siblings. Um, when she was at Krogan Elementary, she was on the safety patrol. Uh, <laughs> I think that's just fantastic. Um, she's also, as she's gone into high school, she's cultivated that leadership and she has participated in band and sports. She's lettered in three different sports and she's in three different bands. I think that's wonderful. She's also a member of the National Honor Society, the Link Interact Club. Um, she lifeguards and she's had perfect attendance in high school. So shout out to that. You got her show up to go up. Um, she plans to attend Slippery Rock University and study petroleum and natural gas engineering. So once again, let's just give her a hand, even though she couldn't be here to accept her award. <laughs> Our next recipient is Hayden Marcy. Can you come here? and Tori, and he has three siblings. He's been the captain of the soccer team, and he has varsity for three years, and he's also an academic scholar, and that's fantastic. He's a member of the Team Leadership Corps. Oh, by the way, he's also volunteer coach soccer for children. That's good. Um, he's in the National Tech Honor Society. He knows how to lifeguard, too, and STNA. So, you know, I that might be beneficial to some of us older ones, right? Um, <laughs> He is going to attend University of Toledo, I believe, with biomedical engineering, is that right? All right. Well, we are so proud of you, Hayden. Thank you for coming to Krogan. And he did have something very heartfelt, and, and I'm not gonna share it publicly, but he does, he appreciates Mr. Harmon. So, we all did. <laughs> so, congratulations. My name is Randy Magro, I'm the principal at Lutz Elementary, and on behalf of the staff and students at Lutz, we wish all of the seniors the best of luck in their future plans. I'm here to present the Lutz PTO scholarship. Each year, the Lutz Elementary PTO provides two $500 scholarships for graduating seniors who attended Lutz school for at least four out of six years of their elementary schooling. Money for these scholarships is provided through annual fundraisers. And this year, we are happy to present these scholarships to Tamara Nord and Xavier DeCourcy. And also, we, uh, our Lutz staff provides scholarships. This year, the Lutz Elementary School staff is providing three $500 scholarships for graduating seniors who attended Lutz for at least four out of their six uh, years of, the, of their elementary schooling. The money for these scholarships is provided through our annual spring fling, as well as individual teacher and staff contributions. So this year, we are happy to present these scholarships to Morgan Schetzer, Jada Lopez and Chloe Weicker. I'm Julie Medell, and I'm the daughter of the late Bill Crumnow, and I'm here to um, honor a, the recipient of the William Crumnow Scholarship. 
The Crumnow Scholarship was set up as a retirement gift for Bill Crumnow upon his retirement from the Fremont City Schools, in which he served 35 years in education as a teacher, but most importantly, where he served as the building principal of Lutz Elementary for 27 of those years. He has since passed since the scholarship was set up in his name, but the memory of him lives through his wife, children, and grandchildren who continue to reward a well-deserving well recipient each year. He valued education and the relationships he developed in his career with his colleagues, but most importantly with the children of Fremont City Schools. He was honored when a scholarship was set up in his name so he could continue to impact young men and women who would further their education after the completion of high school. It is my honor to present the 2022 Williams Crumnow Scholarship to Hanla Scheibler. to represent the STOM PTO. Um, the STOM PTO scholarship goes to McKenna England, who couldn't be here today, as she is a district as a regional qualifier, and she actually just won district high jump with five, five foot three inches. <laughs> McKenna plans to attend the University of Toledo, where she will major in nursing. McKenna was chosen for the STOM scholarship, not because of a spotless GPA, because she has proven, proven to show she had what it takes to work at Elmwood Assisted Living while, while balancing three varsity sports of cross country, basketball, and track. The Wendell C. Miller and Washington PTO, they developed a scholarship for a student who attended uh, Washington Elementary. Their committee had selected two winners this year. The winners for their scholarship are Adriana Terraza Cabo and Cole Diamond. Next is the Alex Clark Scholarship. The scholarship is presented on behalf of Mr. Alex Clark and goes to one senior from Ross who must be of minority status, continuing their education, and is pursuing a major in either science and or education. The Alex Clark Scholarship goes to Julian Chavez. The Paul R. Bruff Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Paul. Applicants for the scholarship must be attending either Bowling Green State University, Tiffin University, or The Ohio State University, a graduate of Ross High School, and maintaining a 3.0 GPA. The recipients of this scholarship are selected on the basis of community involvement, school involvement, leadership, and scholastic achievement. This year's Paul Arbroff Scholarship winner is Hannah Scheibler. The next scholarship is our ACE Mentoring 
program scholarship. The scholarship goes to a student who's participating in our ACE mentoring program and who has excelled academically. They will be continuing on in their studies at college next year. This year's award winner is Connor Bruner. Fremont Ross Sports Hall of Fame Scholarship. Uh, these scholarships are awarded to one high school senior boy and one high school senior girl who has received at least one varsity letter and will be attending college in the fall. The winners of the Fremont Ross Sports Hall of Fame Scholarship are Morgan Schetzer and Julian Chavez. seniors and families. My name is Tiffany Wood and I am the current president of the Fremont Athletic Booster Association. The mission of the boosters is to encourage and assist young men and women to participate in the athletic programs at Fremont Ross, to cultivate and promote fellowship among the alumni and the friends of Fremont Ross High School, to assist and promote the interest and support of the Fremont Athletic Program, and to develop in the assist in the development of the spiritual, mental, social, and physical welfare of all people participating in athletic programs, regardless of race, color, or creed. Each year we award several $500 scholarships to qualified senior athletes. After careful consideration, this year's five, or sorry, six scholarship winners are Brianna Morissetti, Morgan Schutzer, Allison Taylor, Dean Hedrick, London Johnson, and Weston Schroeder. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2022 for all of their hard work and commitment throughout their academic careers. I wish you the best of luck for this next chapter in life. My name is Gage Ross. I am the son of the late Jamie Ross. I've been a guest speaker since I was five years old and still needed to stand on a chair to reach the microphone. <laughs> Luckily, I did not need that chair this year. My father was a wrestler and a football player for the Little Giants. When my family decided to honor my dad by giving away these scholarships, we wanted the winners to be true Little Giants. To completely dedicate yourself to your goals and accomplish beyond what even you thought you could do. These were some of the many characteristics I've learned to have been associated with my dad. This year, two recipients stood out to be just that. They're both hardworking young men who have shown they give it their all, whether it be in the classroom, on the field, or on the mat. With no further ado, I'd like to congratulate LeBron's Barnett and Dean Hedrick. I'm a seventh grader here in Fremont at St. John. 
Jake Bender was my uncle. I unfortunately never had the privilege to meet him, but my mother, grandma, and other family members say how much I act and look just like him, even down to the handwriting. So, the Jake Bender Scholarship Foundation was formed in 2003 after Jake's untimely death. A scholarship fund was established in his memory. The scholarship is awarded annually to graduating Fremont Ross Little Giants, who possesses some of Jake's most cherished traits. His sense of humor, his love for life, and his vivacious spirit. In addition to the scholarship, we also gave inspirational t-shirts to each football player. Since our inception in 2003, the Jake Bender Scholarship Foundation has awarded nearly $55,000 in scholarships. This year, I am honored to award six $1,000 scholarships. The winners are LeBron's Barnett, <laughs> Tana Boyer, <laughs> Bowen Scooch, <laughs> Allison Taylor, <laughs> Lyndon Johnson Jr. Taylor. The Mark D. Geip Memorial Scholarship is given, given in honor of Mark Geip. This is the 11th year for the scholarship. This award is given to a Ross senior soccer player who exemplifies the spirit in which Mark lived his life. The award is given to a student who will be attending college in the fall. The winner is Hayden Marcy. The Chris Hall True Grit Scholarship is given to a senior athlete who has persevered throughout their high school career. The scholarship is for a student who has earned a varsity letter and will be continuing their studies. The scholarship winner goes to Andrew Taylor. The Ganya Hall Game Feed Scholarship is given to a female senior athlete who exemplifies leadership, commitment, dedication, and teamwork. To be eligible recipients must be a student athlete, a graduating senior from Ross, planning on attending a two or four years, two or four year college, have a minimum of a 2.5 GPA, and have participated in one or more community service and or extracurricular activities during the past year. The scholarship is awarded to Allison Taylor. The Art, the Art and Lisa Bucci Scholarship is given in honor of Art, former Ross AD and Lisa Bucci. The winner must be a graduating Ross senior and participate on the Ross swim or dive teams and plans to further their education. The scholarship is awarded to Madison Gallagher. The 
Dick and Barb Berger Athletic Scholarship is given to Ross student athletes who will be attending college in the fall. <coughs> Students must meet a 3.0 GPA requirement to be attending school in the fall. This year's winners are Tana Bauer, Elena Smith, London Johnson, and Nicholas Pearson. The Mike Pirro, Mike Pirro Memorial Foundation Star Scholarship is dedicated to Mike, who dedicated his life to help shape the young, the young lives of students through sports. Sportsmanship, a dedicated work ethic, and unfailing respect for others were Mike's hallmark traits. These scholarships will be awarded to students who graduating from Fremont Ross or Fremont St. Joe Central Catholic High School, plan on attending a two or four year college, have a minimum 2.5 GPA, and have participated in one or more community service or extracurricular activities. This year's winner of the Mike Pirro Memorial Scholarship is LeBron Barnett. The Heisman Memorial Trophy is renowned for symbolizing the pursuit of excellence with integrity. The Heisman High School Scholarship extends the Heisman prestige to our nation's most esteemed male and female high school seniors by recognizing and rewarding outstanding scholar athletes who understand that the most important victories not only happen on the field, but in their schools and in their communities. These remarkable young leaders set the example and make a game-changing difference every day, paving the way to greatness for everyone around them. The winners of the Heisman High School Award for Ross High are Haley Rios and Weston Schroeder. Of all the scholarships and awards we've given tonight, perfect attendance might be the most difficult one to get, particularly given the climate that we're in. To show up all day.